Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Competitive Botany. In this video, you are going to see important MCQs useful for your uh, semester and examination. So the topic is applications of microorganisms in food, agriculture, environmental and industry purposes. Let's see the first question. So which microorganism is primarily used in the production of yogurt? Options are Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Lactobacillus bulgaricus, Escherichia coli, Penicillium mold. So, uh, the correct answer is Lactobacillus bulgaricus is the correct answer. Let's see the next question. What is the role of yeast in bread making? Options are flavor enhancement, fermentation, preservation, coloring. So, the correct answer is fermentation is the correct one. Let's see the next question. Which of the following is a fermented beverage made using microorganisms? Options are fruit juice, vinegar, soft drink, bottled water. So vinegar is prepared uh, by a process fermentation. Okay. So let's see the next question. What is the primary purpose of using probiotics in the food? So options are to improve flavor, to promote gut health, to preserve food, to chicken products. Okay, probiotics nothing but certain microorganisms like lactic acid bacteria, bifidobacteria. They are added to the food products because they promotes the gut health okay so the correct answer is they promote the gut health let's see the next question which microorganism is commonly used as a biofertilizer to enhance nitrogen fixation in legumes options are uh, rhizobium azotobacter mycorrhizae all of the above so for this the correct answer is Rhizobium bacteria, it can fix the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrate form. Uh, in It resides in the root nodules of uh, leguminous plants. Okay. So, let's see the next question. What is the primary benefit of using mycorrhizal fungi in agriculture? Options are pest control, soil aeration, improved nutrient uptake, plant growth regulation. So, for this, the correct answer is improved nutrient uptake so mycorrhizal fungi they enhances the uh, nutrients uptake or water uptake from the soil okay so let's see the next question which of the following microorganisms is used to control pests and diseases in crops options are lactobacillus bacillus thuringiensis penicillium streptococcus so for this the correct answer is bacillus thuringiensis which is used as a bio pesticide okay so let's see the next question which of the following is a function of rhizobacteria in agriculture so options are enhancing root growth suppressing plant pathogens promoting nutrient availability all of the above so for this the correct answer is all of the above Okay, let's see the next question. Which microorganism is primarily used in the production of compost? Options are yeast, viruses, bacteria, fungi. So generally viruses, are, sorry, bacteria is used in the production of compost making. Okay, so let's see the next question. What is the significant advantage of using biopesticides over chemical pesticides? Options are... Uh, higher cost, faster action, reduced environmental impact, longer shelf life. Okay, so biopesticides, when you use the biopesticides, they reduces the environmental impact. Okay, let's see the next question. Which microorganism is commonly used in bioremediation to degrade oil spills? Options are Lactobacillus, Pseudomonas, Sericia coli, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Yes, the correct answer is Pseudomonas. Let's see the next question. What is the primary role of microorganisms in composting? 
options are decomposition of organic matter nitrogen fixation water purification carbon dioxide production yes the correct answer is they decompose the organic matter let's see the next question which type of microorganisms use is used in waste water treatment to break down organic pollutants so correct answer is bacteria okay they are used uh, to clean up the waste water okay for example pseudomonas so this process is called as a bioremediation okay so let's see the next question what is the purpose of using microorganisms in phytoremediation so to enhance options are to enhance soil erosion to absorb the degrade contaminants to produce biofuels to increase pest resistance so for this the correct answer is so to absorb the uh, uh, to absorb and degrade the contaminants from the environment okay so let's say phytoremediation is nothing but cleaning up the environment by using plants okay so let's see the next question which of the following is an example of a bioremediation technique options are chemical extraction thermal treatment microbial degradation incineration yes microbial degradation is an example of bioremediation technique let's say the next question which microorganism is known for its ability to degrade plastics options are streptococcus indonella uh, sakenensis bacillus thuringiensis aspergillus so the correct answer is indonella sakenensis so let's say the next question in the nitrogen cycle which microorganisms are responsible for nitrification options are nitrosomonas nitrobacter rhizobium azotobacter clostridium yes the correct answer is nitrosomonas and nitrobacter which are responsible for nitrogen fixation let's see the next question what is the role of microorganisms in the carbon cycle options are carbon sequestration decomposition of organic matter oxygen production water filtration so for this the correct answer is decomposition of organic matter so microbes they play a key role in carbon cycle uh, to break down the complex organic matter into simpler substances okay so let's see the next question which microorganism is used to produce cheese options are bacillus subtilis lacto uh, lactococcus lactis uh, candida albicans rhizopus oryzae for this the correct answer is lactococcus lactis which is used to produce cheese let's see the next question which microorganism is commonly used in the production of antibiotics options are streptomyces escherichia coli saccharomyces cerevisiae rhizopus yes streptomyces species they are widely used in the production of antibiotics let's see the next question which microorganism is widely used in the production of insulin options are bacillus subtilis saccharomyces cerevisiae escherichia coli lactobacillus so uh, escherichia coli is widely used in the production of in insulin let's see the next question in the paper industry which microorganism is used for the bio bleaching of pulp options are rhizopus trichoderma phenerokit chrysosporium aspergillus yes for this the correct answer is phenerokit chrysosporium is a correct answer which is used in the paper industry for bio bleaching of pulp let's see the next category of questions so fill in the blank type of questions the principal microorganisms for yogurt preparation are so uh, you have to fill the blank with the correct answer so there are two microorganisms used in the production of yogurt they are streptococcus dermophilus and lactobacillus bulgaricus 
no need to worry about the answers so i will share the answers in the last session of this video then you will take the screenshots okay let's see the uh, next question microorganism that take part in the process of extraction of uh, valuable metals so from the ores so this process is known as so for this the correct answer is bio mining or bio leaching okay so let's see the next category of questions they are uh, first question is define bio remediation so you have to define the bio remediation so bio remediation is a process that uses microbes or plants to remove the harmful pollutants or contaminants from the environment so so it is used to clean up the polluted areas that is nothing but uh, bio remediation by using either microbes or plants if it is done with the microbes that is called as bio remediation if it is done with the plants that is called phyto remediation okay so let's see the next question what is bio pesticides uh, what are bio pesticides okay so bio pesticides are one kind of pesticides that come from natural sources like plants animals bacteria and also minerals so they are used to control the pests okay so they can be used as alternative to synthetic chemical pesticides okay so uh, chemical pesticides have the negative impacts on the environment and human health so that's why we need to use bio pesticides as they are uh, eco friendly they do not harm to environment as well as human beings okay so let's see the next question a matching type of question here you have to match the list 1 with the list 2 so i'm going to give you answer so probiotics beverages bio fertilizers bio remediation so probiotics uh, probiotic as i told you earlier uh, there are certain microorganisms like lactic acid bacteria bifidobacteria they are used as probiotics that means they are added to the food products to promote gut health okay so example bifidobacteria so uh, match to uh, list 1 a beverages so beverages uh, are prepared uh, with the help of a process called fermentation bio fertilizers rhizobium azospirillum azotobacter they are used as bio fertilizers okay But they are helpful in the nitrogen fixation okay so let's see next one bio remediation yes by using microorganisms we can clean up the polluted water polluted soil etc so uh, pseudomonas is a best example used as a bio uh, used for the bio remediation purpose okay so for this the correct answer is first one a b c d is the correct answer So let's see the next question microbes are key players in the carbon cycle breaking down the organic matter yes microbes they play very important role in uh, breaking down of uh, uh, complex organic matter into simpler substances yes it is true statement some microorganisms can produce eco friendly biodegradable plastics yes this is also true statement so they produce uh, eco friendly biodegradable plastic okay so these are the questions uh, now i am going to share my screen now you can take screenshots okay
ओके स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू